artificial intelligence isn't coming to college campuses. It's already here. According to a new national survey, 85% of college students in the US say they've used generative AI tools for their coursework in the past academic year. That number may sound shocking, but what students are doing with AI might surprise you even more. Contrary to the fears of mass cheating or AI written term papers, most students say they're using AI to support their learning, not to replace it. In fact, the most common uses are brainstorming ideas, asking AI questions like a tutor and studying for quizzes or exams. Only a quarter of students reported using AI to complete full assignments, and just 19% said they had used it to generate entire essays. In other words, the typical student isn't outsourcing their education to AI. They're using it as a study partner. But the conversation doesn't stop there. The way students want colleges to respond to the shift is just as telling. A majority of students don't want schools to punish AI use. They want guidance. More than half say colleges should teach ethical AI use, provide training and establish clear policies. Far fewer support strict bans or surveillance tools like AI detection software. This sends a clear message. Students aren't trying to hide their AI use. They want to understand how to use it responsibly. The data also reveals something deeper. Isn't making students question the value of a college education. If anything, some believe it's making that degree even more valuable. Over a third say their opinion of higher education hasn't changed. And 23% actually believe their degree matters more because of AI, not less. Why? Because in a world powered by AI, human skills, like critical thinking, communication, and creativity, stand out even more. This isn't just an American trend either. Surveys around the world show similar numbers. In 2024, a global study found that 86% of students worldwide were already using AI in their academic lives. Tools like ChatGPT, Grammarly, and Copilot are becoming as common as calculators and Google Docs. But with all this access, many students also say they feel underprepared to use AI well. They're asking for help, not shortcuts. So what does all this mean? It means colleges and universities are at a crossroads. They can either treat AI as a threat to be policed or as a new literacy, one that should be taught, explored, and used with intention. Because AI isn't replacing learning, but it is changing how learning happens. And the sooner we acknowledge that, the better prepared we'll be, not just for exams, but for the world ahead. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates on technology first. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.